Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proenz and today we're going to talk about players, the exercise of week zero of CS50 introduction to databases with SQL. So in this project, we're going to receive a database with the players of baseball, that is the most popular uh, sport in United States. And we're going to play around answering the questions that they will ask us. To get the distribution code, you have to click here in the load and you can follow these steps. So once you complete these steps, you should see the folder player with 10 files of SQL and one file for the database. In order to see the database, you can double click in here and then it will appear open anyway. And when you click to open anyway, it will appear this table here, players. And in this table players, we can see that we have several columns as ID, first names, last name, bets, throws, uh, weight, height, debut, first, final game, birth year, birth month, birth day, birth city, birth state, and birth country. So basically, we're gonna solve the questions using our database in here, and I will help you out doing that. In order to run your SQL query, you have to right click here, open an integrated terminal, and then it will open up the terminal for you. In order to start the SQL terminal, we have to do SQL line three, and and the name of our database that it's players.db. Once we click enter, we have here our table. If you're not able to open up the database as I showed you here in another tab, you can run dot schema and you will see how your table looks like. So all of the columns I just mentioned in here and we can see the type of the uh, columns. So we have integer, task, text, numeric and so on. All right, so let's start our code by answering the first question. Um, write a SQL query to find the hometown, including city, state, and country of Jackie Robinson. To do that, we need to get, we want to select these three columns that represent city, state, and country. And when we take a look at our table, these columns are called birth city, birth state, and birth country. And we want to select, so we don't want to get the hometown for every player. We want to get the hometown for specific for Jackie Robinson. So Jackie is the first name, Robinson is the last name, so our condition will be the first name column and the last name column equals to these values. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna write in here select uh, birth city, birth state, and birth country from the name of our table that is players, where first name is equal to Jackie and last name is equals to Robinson. Okay, remember to add quotation mark for the words for the name of the person. And when we run this, this query, we will see that the birth city is Cairo, the state is GA, and the birth country is United States. Okay, so we got the first task. Let's go to the next one. So the next query, we're gonna find the side, right or left, for baby Ruth Heat. Here, Heat, we need to translate in words that we understand in our table. So Heat, we mean about bets. So we're gonna find uh, which hand uh, baby Ruth used to play when he was hitting the ball. So here we're gonna see the bets. As we can see here in our table, R is for right and L is for left. So we're gonna work with, we're gonna find one of those two letters. All right, so in here we wanna select the bet for the baby Ruth person. So here, select bets from players, where first name is equal to babe and last name is equal to Ruth. And when we run our query, we will see the L here, which means that he used to play with the left hand. Okay, let's go to the next one. So here, we're gonna write a SQL query to find the IDs of rows for which a value in the column debut is missing. In SQL, how can we know that a data is missing? We take a look at the debut uh, column where we have the word no. As we can see here in another column, we have the word no. No represents that we don't have any data. So the, the information is empty here. So we're gonna find all the IDs. So we're gonna select this row and our condition will be where the butte is no, exactly these words. So select ID from players where the butte is no. And as we can see in here, when we use the word no, it already changed to blue because SQL understands what this means. When we play here, it will display a column, a table with only one column, with the ID of all people that doesn't have information for 
debut. All right, let's go to the next one. Write a SQL query to find the first and last names of players who were not born in the United States. Start the results alphabetically by first name and then, if we have a tie, by last name. So our goal is to find all the players who were not born in the United States. And if we search in here, we have a not in the lecture. We have a not equal. Let me show you. Here we have two commands to display that it's not equal. We can use the exclamation mark equal or this uh, angular bracket here to represent that something is not equal to another thing. If you take a look at our, at our table, the birth country for United States is represented as USA. So we need to find all the players, so first name and last name, for people that, that has not birth country in USA. And then we're gonna start. So first, select first name and last name from players where birth country is not, so exclamation mark equals USA. All right, so let's see what happens if we run this query. This is not the answer, but I wanna show you the steps. So here we're displaying the name of everyone who weren't uh, born in the USA, but they are not sorted by the first name. So here we can use the order by first name in alphabetical order, so ascending order. And we can add a comma for in case we have a tie, we're gonna, we're gonna work with the last name uh, column, okay? So if we run in here right now, they are all sorted, okay? So if they have Z here, the same name, for example, the last name will define who is the winner in this tie, all right? So now let's go to the next one. Write a SQL query to return the first and last name of all right-handed batters. Uh, sort the results alphabetically by first name and last name. So here, we already know how to sort and we're gonna do it in a bit. We know how to select the first and the last name and we need to take a look at the bets. As we already see earlier, the letter that we represent as someone use the right hand for the bets is the letter R. So we need to find all the occurrences where bets is equal to R. Okay, so select first name and last name Oops. from players. So as I was saying here in players, we want to return the first and last name of all right-handed batters and we're going to sort the results alphabetically by first name and by last name. As we can see in here in the players table, the 